Back to Happy Valley then on a Wednesday night for a nine race uh, programme. The rail is in the B position. We are without Alex Lai and Joe Moreira sits his final meeting out through suspension as well. He'll be back for the Group 1 meeting on the weekend at Sunday. I'm Andrew Lejeune. Pleased to say I'm joined here in the studio by Paul Lally, our former analyst and race caller Tom Wood as well. Tom, for a excellent programme. Start off with the Class 5. Let's finish off with a really strong Class 2 there. Yeah, there's plenty of action later on in the programme. Andrew races 8 and 9, particularly the Class 2 race so over 1,200 metres. So Eason going around there with uh, Campioni. And so through the programme, there's 13 last start uh, winners. So plenty to look forward to with throughout the night. Certainly is, and there's plenty to look forward to as far as the jackpots are concerned, Paul. Yeah, there is. We've got a um, 1.5 million going to the triple track, but wait, there's more. 6.4 million goes into the uh, six-up win bonus, so that should get up to about 12 million for a single winning $10 unit. So a couple of really good jackpots there. All right, we'll get stuck in uh, to that. The going at the moment is good, and hopefully it will stay dry as well. Of course, we raced on a yielding track last Wednesday night. We start off with a 1650 Class 5 here with 12 going to post. Field is headed by Run the Table and King's Trooper, both dropping in class. Uh, man up, switches to Danny Shum's yard, get the blinkers on for the first time. Diamond Stars, the last start winner. Daily Beauty runner-up to Vukan uh, last time out. All you know is a three-time course and distance with a humble steed one last time out. So we've got uh, Anonyma who's uh, now just off a mark of 18, looking for that uh, first win at start number 31. And C Monarch can't draw an inside run here. He's drawn 12, 12, 14, 10, 11, and 12 he draws on Wednesday night again, Tom. I'll get much worse than that, mm. really, for C Monarch. Uh, should be good here, uh, Anonyma. We know he likes to uh, go forward, but uh, can be iffy at the start, although he was better last uh, time out. Uh, Manor from Heaven, he goes forward, to run the table. Uh, he's another one that can sit handy. He's drawn a little awkwardly, though, Paul and Nine. Yeah, so he just need a bit of luck, but uh, he comes down to this easier grade. Smiling face, he's been consistent without winning. I think he'll go back, and King's Troop, another one to go back from his draw. All right, we'll start off uh, here with uh, Diamond Stars, a two-time winner this season. Those two wins have come in his, uh, his last three starts, uh, Tom, as well. So winning twice in Class 5, can he make it uh, three, do you think? We've got Smiling Face engaged here as well. You know, reason why he can't uh, go on with it, he's been in good form uh, this uh, season. He's finally been able to uh, get the monkey off his uh, back and uh, did it pretty well here, cleared out uh, over the final stages and uh, was a nice enough effort uh, from him. Paul Smiling Face, uh, he's been consistent without winning. Uh, he stayed on fairly there last Yeah, time. he did, just got behind heels, behind a horse, and he took a wild balance up down the straight there. So a, little, a minor excuse for him as well. OK. Daily Beauty we can check on now. Placed on his last uh, two runs. Anonima out in front. Um, doesn't really seem to be finding his feet at all, Paul. He's struggling. But uh, Daily Beauty would be a chance, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think so. Daily Beauty, he's r running on nice enough here, isn't he? Uh, Daily Beauty. Uh, Luke Ferraris aboard from Barry number 7. He's a three-time winner here at uh, Happy Valley as well. So, look, he, he's definitely a chance. Anonima, he's been very disappointing since he got here. He's one of the thrill, th thrill seekers at the start is Anonima, but uh, Daily Beauty's off a competitive mark here at 34 when he's one of 57 in the past his last win. Mm, OK. Well, Humble Steeds is another last start winner, uh, Tom. We've got good old Anonima going round as well. Diamond Star in there and Smiling Face once more, plus Manor from Heaven, actually. It was about this time last season where Humble Steed came out and won two in a row, and he won last start uh, by short uh, head that he's had a quiet barrier trial since up at uh, Chungfa so I think drawn barrier number four he should get every chance uh, smiling face doing what he does best here uh, Paul uh, running on at the end yeah you can see there was a bit a lot better run from smiling face and he all but won it didn't he just mm. lost it on the bob so yeah. I think he's definitely a chance man from heaven's actually trialed since then at the valley I thought it looked quite good as well. He's drawn an inside gate, so maybe uh, he's a, an each-way player as well. As far as the market's concerned, though, Paul Diamond Star in a wide market current favourite. Got him as the Quinella horse. I'm going to go with the toppy here, run the table, down and grade. Has won off this rating before when he did come into Class 5. He's on top. Diamond Star's been going well. Going to put man up in. There's a few changes with him. Uh, blinkers uh, go on. Uh, the, the key, I think, is up and trip. He's by Ocean Park out of a street cry mess. Up to 16.50, I think, will really suit him. And he's in a new stable as well. So I think we'll see improvement from Man Up. The trial in Chungfa wasn't too bad from him either. And Smiling base, Face, smiling face even, in there for fourth. So one, five, three, and ten. Humble Steed is the one I've gone for here. As I mentioned before, he's won back-to-back -back races, and it was about uh, this time last season that uh, he did it, and Beno Young produced him to win last start uh, at a big price. Uh, man up, there was nothing wrong with the trial with the blinkers on. Uh, Danny Shum uh, now trains uh, him. The pacifier comes off. He's dropped 24 pounds as well, has uh, man up. Run the table back at a class five and diamond start. Eight, three, one, and five. 
whole host of chances here. I'm with the class dropper as well, though. Uh, run the table, one and five for the cube. But Manor from Heaven, I thought it was a nice trial from him also. So uh, open race, race number one, a class five over the 1650.